This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Data Home Smart Door Lock Model LB400. I've installed it on a small piece of solid core door just for demonstration purposes. Now, I have to admit that when I bought this on Amazon, I really wanted to like this. After all, it's a pretty cool looking product and it appeals to the inner tech nerd in me. And to be fair, I do like it for the most part, but there's one pretty big miss, albeit one that can be fixed fairly easily. But first, let me take you through how it works. This is currently locked. You can see when I turn the outer knob, the bolt does not retract. We can unlock it in one of four ways. The first is using my fingerprint. The second way to unlock it is to use the keypad on the front. I'm not sure if you can see it in this lighting, but we'll put one, two, three, four in. The third way to unlock it is using an RFID tag. This is a low frequency unit. And finally, you can connect to it with your smartphone via Bluetooth. Now there's no mechanical key, so picking is out, but there is a pretty straightforward mechanical flaw that would allow it to be bypassed in just a few seconds. You see, this unit does not have a dead latch. A dead latch, when installed properly, keeps someone from slipping a spring-loaded bolt. I have one right here, and when this door would be closed, this portion of it, which is called the guard latch, would be depressed, and it keeps the spring-loaded bolt from retracting. The data home unit comes with a non-locking latch, and that can be slipped in a number of ways. If the door opens outward, I like to use something like this, a little hook, and you can just push it aside. And if the door opens inward, I tend to use a flexible piece of plastic and just slide it around the door frame, and it'll do the exact same thing. Now, this is a fairly standard part, and if you wanted to swap in a dead latch, you could probably do it for five or 10 bucks. But I think it serves as a very important reminder that no matter how high tech a lock gets, you need to remember the fundamentals. One more oddity about this lock. I noticed a small dimple on the bottom of the outside handle. You can see it right here. I had no idea what it was for, but when I took this lock apart, I found that underneath that dimple, Inside this black aluminum housing is a metal part that when pressed will unlock the door. This dimple is the absolute perfect spot for an inconspicuous drill attack. And the little dimple not only marks the spot, but it makes it much easier to drill because your drill bit won't slide around. I have no idea if that was intentional, but if not, it's a really unfortunate coincidence. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.